Well, it's really good to see you um, on Monday morning on the 26th of June. Um, and I hope all is well with you. Lots um, of, for us to celebrate here, the benefice um, over the weekend. Um, because of course our curate Catherine was uh, was ordained as priest at the service down at Taunton Minster on um, on Saturday. Um, many people from both of our churches um, were able to come along and attend and support her, um, which was really lovely. And then of course um, Catherine celebrated communion for the first time yesterday um, at Staple Grove. Um, and again, lots of people um, coming along to to support her. So um, so really good, um, really positive weekend. Um, I hope uh, things are well with you. Um, a bit cooler today here in Staple Grove, um, although the sun is still trying to, to peep out, um, which is good. Nothing in particular on the lectionary to remember today, um, but we are going to pray, we're asked to pray for um, all those people, those many people who've been doing GCSEs and A-levels and other end of year assessments um, and particularly um, to give them peace as they wait for the results um, inevitably. So let's turn to our order of service. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all. To you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence, and strengthen our hands to do your will. That the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm, Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a stronghold to which I may ever resort. Send out to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence even from my youth. Upon you have I leaned from my birth when you drew me from my mother's womb. My praise shall be always of you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me away in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. My enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say God has forsaken him. Pursue him and take him, because there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to save me, O my God. Let those who are against me be put to shame and disgrace. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But as for me, I will hope continually and will praise you more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and salvation all the day long, for I know no end of the telling. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. Forsake me not, O God, when I am old and grey-headed, till I make known your deeds to the next generation and your power to all that are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. In the great things you have done, who is like you, O God? What troubles and adversities you have shown me, and yet you will turn and refresh me, and bring me from the deep of the earth again. Increase my honour, turn again and comfort me. Therefore I will praise you upon the harp for your faithfulness, O my God. 
I will sing to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing out as I play to you, and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue also will tell of your righteousness all the day long, for they shall be shamed and disgraced, who sought, me to do, who sought to do me evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Romans chapter 11, verses 25 to the end. Paul writes, So that you may not claim to be wiser than you are, brothers and sisters, I want you to understand this mystery. A hardening has come upon part of Israel until the full number of the Gentiles has come in, and so all Israel will be saved. As it is written, Out of Zion will come the Deliverer. He will banish ungodliness from Jacob. And this is my covenant with them, when I take away their sins. As regards the gospel, they are enemies of God for your sake, but as regards election, they are beloved for the sake of their ancestors. The gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. Just as you once were disobedient to God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have been disobedient in order that by the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God has imprisoned all in disobedience, so that he may be merciful to all. O oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are his judgments, and how inscrutable his ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counsellor? Or who has given a gift to him to receive a gift in return? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory for ever. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. So let's turn to our prayers of intercession. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for your great love for us and your word. A lantern to our feet, a light to our path. Lord, help us to follow you. Lord, we thank you so much this weekend for the ordination of Catherine as priest. Lord, we offer our gratitude to you for all that she brings to the church, specifically to our churches here in the Benefice. Lord, we thank you for the ways in which so many people came together to celebrate this weekend. And we do pray for your continued blessing and guidance upon her and upon Chris and the family. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we do pray for the other candidates too, the other nine people who were ordained as priests in Bath, uh, in Wells and Taunton on Saturday as well as the deacons who were ordained yesterday. Uh, yeah, yesterday. And so, Lord, we give you thanks for the calls that you've placed upon their lives and ask that you would bless and guide them as they go about their ministry in a new way in the places where they are. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So, Lord, we do pray for the church, for our own churches here in Staplegrove and Norton, for the worship that was offered in your name yesterday, the ways in which you continue to live and work in us and through us. Lord, we thank you for the Lichgate sale at Staplegrove, the people who came along to engage. We pray for 
All Saints Norton this week as we prepare for the Family Fun Day on that Sunday at the Village Hall. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity we have to engage in that with our school and raising money through cakes. Lord, we pray through your Holy Spirit that you would guide and bless that time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we're conscious at this time of those who've been sitting exams recently, GCSEs and A-levels and others, whether they're internal school exams or other official exams. Lord, we know that it's a stressful time and in particular for this current generation who've had the last three years so disrupted. So Lord, we do pray for a sense of peace as they wait inevitably for the results. Lord, we do pray for our schools now as they continue to work towards the end of term. Lord, we pray for the next three or four weeks that they will indeed be positive times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray for the wider world. Of course, very conscious of events over the weekend recently in Russia. Lord, we pray for the leaders of those nations involved, particularly Russia itself. And we pray for peace. Pray that your hand would be with them. Lord, we do pray for those people within our own communities and further afield whose lives are troubled at the moment. Continuing to remember before you uh, the family and friends of Barnaby Webber and the other victims of Nottingham two weeks ago. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as always, we bring before you those individuals we know who are suffering in body, mind or spirit. So we do pray for William and Susie, for Gerald and Ivy, for Derek, for Jean, for Chris. Lord, we pray for those who mourn, for Karen and John and Catherine, following the loss of Karen's mother, Molly. Lord, we do pray too for the family and friends of Neville Farmer, for so many years a friend of both of our churches here. So Lord, we lift these people to you and ask that you would comfort them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we do pray for the day that lies ahead of us today, for the plans and intentions that we have, offering ourselves once again to your service, in the knowledge that your ways are higher than our ways, your thoughts deeper than our thoughts. So, Lord, we pray, use us as instruments of your love. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and have sent the spirit of your Son into our hearts, whereby we call you Father. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that we and all creation may be brought to the, glory, brought to the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And as Jesus himself has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. 
Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So the Lord bless us, preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Really good to have you with me. I hope you have a really good day and um, look forward to catching up soon.